Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Bing Chat. So Bing Chat has just released an enterprise version for education customers. So if your college or school use um, Microsoft Office 365 um, and your admin has uh, enabled it, then you should be able to access Bing Chat. So, uh, and specifically the enterprise version. So what is it? Well, it's AI powered co-pilot for the web. In essence, it's their equivalent to Google Bard, um, in that it provides you with responses uh, using AI to, to generate those responses. So let's have a look at it. So you've got different types of conversation style. So we can choose balanced and go for more precise, or we can be more creative. So you can choose the type of, of element there. To access it, if you go to Bing, so we'll just go back so you can see what we need to do. So if we go back to Bing, so when you go to bing.com, if you scroll up, and choose chat, you need to be signed in with your college or school account. So if you signed in, you've chosen the style, you can now ask the question. So there is the option to add an image, but we're just going to, and I could speak the question if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna type in a question. So I'm looking for a lesson starter activity linked to my photography class. So you could put in your prompt. Uh, as with all these AI platforms, the quality of your prompt will determine the, the sort of response that you get. So we're gonna give that a go and hit submit. Yeah, so you can see it's come up with the response. It said anagrams are, so it's given a definition. Anagrams are words that have the same letters in different order. Here are five anagrams for your introduction to photography class, including, so it's re, um, rewritten my initial question prompt, and then it's it's got uh, the alternatives there. So a purest heart, uh, truest shape, super threat, Priest hate and truest heap. And you can see how they've uh, been looking down the, the different alternatives that they have. Uh, if you like that, you can click thumbs up. If you dislike it, you can hit dislike, which is very similar to chat GPT. And you can click copy if you want. It then also gives you other potential questions that you may want to ask. So you can see it's giving us prompts based on the topic that we asked. So we can go in and so it'll tell you what it's searching for and then it will generate its answer. Now I find, and, and there's lots of, of advice online for generating prompts, I find unless you're specific on what you want in the sense of how you want it to be presented, you can get quite a lot of information. So always find it's better to be specific on what you're asking it to do. But you can see it's busy generating. Um, so the two of 30 is the, this is the second of the, the questions that you've asked. So if you want it to stop, you can just hit stop responding. So there you have it. That is uh, Bing AI, the enterprise version. I think it's quite good, it, very similar interface. Um, if your school or college use it, then I think it's a useful way of, of, of you accessing um, a, an AI tool. One thing I'm not sure of, which I'll just check now, is
Yeah, so there you have it. Um, one useful advantage to this compared to the free version of ChatGPT is that Bing uses ChatGPT4, so the latest version. So there you have it. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. One final